G'day, I'm Guy from Jackson's 4x4 and we've just finished off another awesome Land Cruiser build. This one is for Stuart from South Australia. We've got a J-Max Super Chassis, the Norworld Tray and Canopy, it's got an auto transmission, a heap of gear from ARB and a whole bunch of other accessories. We're very happy with how this build's turned out and we can't wait to show you through it. With this one, we started up the front with the ARB Large Tube Deluxe Bar. This one's in the matte black powder coat finish which is something a little bit different to the standard satin black. We've got the GME aerial mounted up on the top there, which is featuring the fold down bracket. We've got a pair of Ultravision 140 driving lights, which are Australian made right here in Swan Hill. And we've got the worn VR Evo 12,000 pound winch with the synthetic rope and the black horse fair lead matched up onto the black bar, which looks really neat and tidy. Underneath, we've got the ARB radiator protection plate and we've got the ARB Raider recovery point as well for if you need to pull someone else out of a bog or if you need to get pulled out yourself. We've got the ARB large tube uh, summit side rails and steps matched up to the bar. These look really neat and tidy of course in the matte black powder coat finish the same as the bull bar and then we've got our Linex tread, tread plate coating as well which gives us a nice grippy surface. It looks good with that black textured finish and it's really hard wearing and long lasting as well. We've got a set of the next gen clear view mirrors. These have the power fold and the auto fold function so they can be folded in when required and they give us a great bit of uh, rear vision for towing or general four wheel driving as well. We've got the Safari R-Max four inch snorkel for our sealed intake from dust and water right into the uh, airbox, and we've got the Rhino Pioneer rack on top. This one's got the 150 mil legs, which is the higher of the two options. We do have the lower 110 leg option or the higher 150s. We let the customer make that choice, but generally we go with the 150 when we've got a Norwell because the height matches up really nice with the height of the headboard on the tray. So on the back here, we do have the Deluxe Plus tray package from Norworld, which is specifically designed for the extended wheelbase on these 79s. And we've got a nice canopy on there as well, which has been color coded to match up with the toolbox doors and the factory paint. On the driver's side in the canopy, we've got some nice open storage. We've got a big area at the back. We've got a big area up on top of our drawer here, a top shelf. There's a small shelf which the customer will position wherever they like. And then we've got a nice big drawer on the driver's side, which gives us our bulk storage. Up on the front wall, we've got the Enerdrive inverter. That's our big drawer there. So that's full length, full depth, lots and lots of storage. These ones have the flared mud guards, which are to suit the wider wheel track from the J-Max track correcting diff housing. And then we've got our front and rear under tray toolboxes for plenty of sealed storage. Coming around the back, we've got opportunity for two spare wheels. Just got one on at the moment, but we do have provision for the second. We've got a ladder up onto the roof. We've got the brand new LED tail lights from Norworld. And we've also got our rear pull out drawer. Good bit of lockable storage, um, tools, recovery gear, camping equipment, anything you might want to put in there. And then in front of that drawer, we've got our under tray water tank. Moving around to the passenger side, we've got a ARB air system inside this toolbox. So we've got the twin high output compressor from ARB. We've got the four litre air tank for a bit of reserved air capacity. And then we've got a nice little bracket up the back, which has our compressor switch and our remote outlet as well. In the canopy on this side, we've got provision for an upright fridge. So this frame will go up over Stuart's fridge when he bolts that in there. We've got all our power system up the front mostly Enerdrive gear and a little bit um, of power outlets and circuit breakers, relays, fuses, our screens, all that sort of gear. A bit more bulk storage. And then we've got a smaller drawer here. A few more bits and pieces, bit of a uh, pantry or kitchen. And then we've got our table as well. The map of Australia, which is a, a neat finishing touch. On the doors, lighting which is brightness adjustable so you can go up and down with your brightness and you can also change it between white or amber whatever works best 
So underneath on this vehicle, we've got the J-Max Super Chassis. This is a 4495 package. So we cut off the factory chassis and we weld the J-Max chassis into place. This accepts the coil conversion on the rear. It's a much bigger, heavier chassis. It's got an inbuilt rear tow bar. It has the 300 mil extension built into the chassis and it's also got the coils in the rear. Um, so we've got the track correcting diff housing underneath, which gives us a higher rear axle load, corrects the wheel track and also gives us the increased GVM. Included in the package is full front and rear suspension. We've got the radius arms up the front. There's a brake upgrade, which includes the Mark's full drive hydro booster and the braided brake lines. There's the torqued exhaust to work with the coil springs. It's a different route. That's a three and a half inch stainless DPF back exhaust system. And then there's also a set of airbags inside the coils as well um, for a bit of added, su uh, added support if we've got a, a heavy load or if we're towing. In the rear, we have fitted up another worn winch. This is another 12,000 pound VR Evo, the same as what's on the front with the synthetic rope. So Stuart's chosen to put that in his J-Max rear winch cradle. He's planning to do a fair bit of off-road work and um, wants to be covered if he gets in any tricky situations. This one has the Alpha remote res shocks. So there's a few shock options. This one's got the manual adjust and this one has a three inch lift with 35 inch tires. So we've got the Baja Boss Mickey Thompson's, one of our favorite all-terrain tires and the Method 312 HD wheels, which is a fantastic combination. And that three inch lift with the 35 inch tires is completely legal and all federally approved. Underneath, we do have a pair of long range tanks. So the J-Max 4495 Super Chassis includes the 185 litre rear tank as part of that package. And then we've also fitted the front tank as well, which is an auxiliary 110 litre tank from Brown Davis, giving a total storage capacity of nearly 300 litres. So you've got plenty of range if you wanna go on those longer trips. We'll now have a look inside and see some of the interior accessories on this one. So one of the major mods that we've done um, to this vehicle is the wholesale automatics transmission conversion. So this comes with the actual transmission itself and everything required to adapt it into the 79 series. It's a 200 series gearbox. Um, we've got the center console from Department of Interior. We've got the shifter. We've got the CompuShift ECU, which controls everything. And it's a really nice package, which also includes a torque converter lockup kit and a transmission cooler. So that, when it's fitted with the J-Max 4495, does give us a higher towing capacity to four and a half ton, rather than the four ton you get with the manual. And it gives us a GCM of 8995, which is an additional ton over what you get with the manual transmission. Also in the interior, we have a GME UHF, which is paired up with the aerial on the front. We've got the Red Arc Tow Pro. We've got a pair of floor mats and we've also got the window tint as well. We use a ceramic vortex tint and then behind the back seat, we've got a child restraint. Up the top here, we've got the Cruiser Consoles roof console, which has a pair of LED touch lights and that's where our UHF is mounted as well. That's about all for the interior on this one. I'll pop the bonnet and we'll have a look uh, in the engine bay. So there's a little bit to see in here. Starting over on the driver's side, uh, we've got the ARV driveline breather kit. This does the transmission, the transfer case, the front diff and the rear diff. We've got the Mark's full drive hydro booster, which is part of that J-Max kit to give us the braking increase. We've fitted the J-Max upgraded alternator, which gives us a little bit more juice. We've got the battery system, which is one of our kits we put together using a Red Arc BCDC charger, the ARB battery tray, and our own custom wiring loom to suit the customer's needs. We've got a fuel filter kit, which has an inbuilt water alarm to give the engine some protection. And we've also got a catch cam fitted as well. On the back, um, connected to these batteries, we've got an Anderson plug, and we've also wired up the genuine tow bar uh, wiring loom, as well as uh, the brake controller we mentioned earlier so that the towing's under control. Um, there's a few other things that we've done on this vehicle, but that covers most of the gear. It's a really neat package. It's come together really well. Stuart's been really patient. He's had a really long wait for his car. Um, but yeah, our sales guys have put together the package of his dreams. 
the workshop boys have pulled it all together and we're stoked to see the finished product. So we hope Stuart you enjoy this vehicle and we look forward to seeing you out there on the tracks. If you guys like what you've seen or you want to see any other vehicle breakdowns, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. <laughs>